it's more about learning about your connection with Allah, I guess. And religion. So and the religion. So you can't just be like, I'm a Muslim, I fast, I praise Allah, blah 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 blah. These days I'm going to heaven. No. Back to our channel. channel. My name is Ty. My name is Kenny, and, and we're the Battle Twins. You already know what it is. If you're new here, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. For those that don't know what Ramadan is, Ramadan is a month is in the Islamic calendar. is the holy month. Most, if not all, the verses in the Quran were revealed during this month. So because of that, the yeah. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he fasted during the month of Ramadan, and it's sunnah for Muslims to follow in the footsteps of Prophet Muhammad. So we also fast during the month of Ramadan. That's basically why we fast and Ramadan is 30 days long it changes every year because of the sun blah, blah. It depends on the sighting of the, of the moon you know like the new month the lunar calendar so basically every day you wake up around dawn for before the sunrise before the sunrise for um sorry because Allah was like that I can't let you guys just fast like this you guys I permit you yeah. Like it's so take some sustenance here, right? exactly before you start fasting for the whole day. That's from sunrise to, to sunset. sunset, and then at sunset we all break fast. That's iftar. 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 So basically, that's what fasting is. It's yeah, basically. Okay. Do want to give you some, some tips, tips and, and stuff on how to <laughs> on how to Ramadan. We're gonna be doing Ramadan in school. Like most of our lives, we've been doing Ramadan in school, primary school, secondary school, now university. These are like the things that we've learned to do while in school. So the very first one is always take sari. Like don't do strong woman, strong man, and be like, nah, I can fast the whole day. Blah, blah, blah. Exactly. No exactly. Like, like he's, he was like he was having mercy on us by saying you can like eat some food before you fast. Like take sari. It is it is sunnah. To take sorry take something fulfilling something that you know will like hold you for the whole day and also drink water drink, drink water, water especially drink like water. here in nigeria like the, the heat is mad right now right so drink as much water as you can first yeah another tip would be to set alarms because it's very easy for you to oversleep past sorry and stuff like that you can skip your mind that you might even have to fast but if so to set alarms for waking, for up. waking up for sorry and also for to set alarms for things like making dua reading your Quran and all that kind of stuff because the Holy Month is not just for fasting it's for you to like help yourself spiritually and get close, closer to Allah yeah, so you should so try and do setting your like, is for like, things like that I realize that most times when we're actually um, fasting we always end up doing tests and exam times which is mad my tip to you guys is to learn how to like learn how to balance that for yourself if you know when you like to read choose that time wisely and like kind of put it in the way you're going to be fasting you get what I'm saying like for me now I know I wake up to read so it will be easier for me because of the time that I'm already like you know I have energy but for most people who like to read during the day you have to find a way to like maybe like I don't know take naps take short short breaks in between you yeah. get so that you don't over exert yourself it's not ideal there's no point fasting for Allah's sake and then having it be detrimental to you you get yeah, that's not what Allah wants exactly another tip is try to like get people around you that you can fast with it's easier yeah. said than done when you're like, oh, I'm going to fast, blah, blah, blah. But then, like, you live in um, off K or in a hostel where there aren't many Muslims around. It just, I don't know, it fuels you when you have other people doing the same thing yeah. as you around so you. It's very yeah. hard for you to keep up. If, like, you probably even lose, like, morale. Morale. Or whatever. Yeah. When you're, like, away from other people. Like, yeah. there's nobody there to motivate you. Because after a while, it does get, like, ugh. Tiring. Exactly. So it's better to be around people that can you know support Relate you know, and support, like, yeah. Even if it's just like to wake up and um take sari or to wake up and read during like fasting or like um maybe you guys for if story you guys want to like start taking turns to cook so that one person doesn't doesn't be cooking the whole time you get this is happens to Thai, like, we'll be cooking for when we're going to break, and Thai will accidentally taste the food. You get, but me, it never happened to me, child, but like, she it just taste food, she just, I just cook, and end up there. Yeah, <laughs> that moment where you accidentally do, you just like, but I saw something about that, like, if you accidentally taste food, like, if you spit it out, if you don't taste it, your thing can still be, um, it, it won't be annulled, I guess, your fast won't be annulled, because it was out of, it wasn't your intention. Yeah, like if you accidentally take food, like without the without intention knowing, of taking yeah. it at all, it is you can still continue your fast. It yeah. is 
doesn't happen to assess that because Allah says he just like you know allows if you, you not know it's not like he's like deliberately be like okay let me just like accidentally yeah let me don't intentionally it. accidentally do something doesn't make sense that, ca- that can't cause each other out if you do it Islam is all about intention so you never even have if intention. you want to like fool yourself you're not fooling God so just know that if you do something God is watching you get it yeah so um another thing is during fasting if you're sick don't fast okay the, it wouldn't be like the people perfect. there are people that god has permitted not to fast during um ramadan, ramadan or during fasting, fasting normally general. that's pregnant women um women on their period um sick people and the elderly like elderly so elderly. if you fall sick you get malaria typhoid everything like that do not try to fast do not it is okay for you to just chill and get better if so you have, you'll start to like make up the fast when you're better yes. yeah so um and if you're on your period you don't have to fast either sorry for you guys healthy guys no you guys are actually like just just finish it let's finish you won't have to be stressing like um, yeah later no nah, let's finish it on time if you know that last ramadan you didn't finish fasting on your fast let's start make them up now i don't know how people manage to do it so that they fast. all fast until the next year there was a whole 365 days that you had to make up your and maybe it's like one day or five days or like two days it doesn't it's matter and you'll still be waiting for the next year to make up your fast what the hell is wrong with you if i ever like miss fast i make it up as the, soon as, as soon as like as soon as um, as, as soon as um eat is done i start making up my fast done don't have to think about it next exactly time. so make up your fast before ramadan begins again ramadan is not just for fasting it's basically for you to get closer to god and try and like find your connection with like spend your spiritual to level yes yeah get it's all about holy high yeah level. getting the holy high leveling up in like the spiritual world so it's it's more about learning about your connection with allah i guess and religion. so and the religion so you can't just be like I'm a Muslim, I fast, I praise Allah, blah 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 blah. These days I'm going to heaven. No. Like you, you have to still try. Like, you have to put effort in it. You're still doing all the fasting stuff, but you're still going up to your boyfriend and kissing him while you're fasting. Or if you're like still doing things you're not supposed to be doing, like doing hey, fast. Another it cancels it. Yeah, like there's no point. During sorry, so what you should try and do is try and educate yourself during Ramadan on more on Islam. Try and educate yourself on like why why Islam is Islam. Why do we even like why do we do why do we things? follow yeah. these rules? How did it come about? The origin, like even if it's not you, even if it's not something that um, really interests you, try and make it something that interests you. It's very Put interesting. Put it into like, something that you will get like fuel you. Books on Islamic history. You can get cartoon videos. Yeah, like, go on YouTube. Like the world is like so cool now that. We don't have Anything to go to the wants. boring route to do things anymore. You can have, there are so many interactive ways of learning nowadays. Yeah. So just try and like, learn new duas, learn new surahs of the Quran, if you don't know any, like me. Find, <laughs> find new verses to say during prayer. Yeah. Learn new things about Prophet Muhammad. Learn new things about the boss ass woman in the Quran. Yeah, like, because we really had like Ramadan is just a blessing that God gives us every year yeah. to just boost you and be like you've been doing it. wrong I've been seeing you you've been seeing yourself I'm gonna give you this chance I'm gonna give you this opportunity this opportunity. whole month where everything gets times but imagine Islam is like a video game right. everything is based on intentions and then like your rewards get multiplied based on your intentions you and if you intentions. act on it, those intentions even if you have bad intentions if you choose not to act on bad intentions I you get rewards people. is islam not good so if that happens during ramadan imagine that you're not times it by 50 you're collecting all your gold coins life is leveling good. up leveling up it's so like and you know that also try the thing is, during Ramadan, you get try to do all the stuff, you get better Quran, you learn verses. So, that's all we got for you guys.